Hello guys, this is Modest Mage here, bringing you some commentary over some 46 and 1 Capture the Flag gameplay. I've had this gameplay on my hard drive for quite some time. Uh, I didn't really like it just because it was a little on the long side. I have a lot of gameplays like this where they're like 11 to 13 minutes and I just don't want to use them because I don't like commentating over gameplays that are 10 minutes plus because A, I don't see why you guys would want to watch that because that is on the long side and B, I feel like I just have to come up with stuff to say on the spot and it's not necessarily insightful or natural which just feels a little bit like I'm uh, artificially making up for time if you know what I mean so I've decided to just put music over the end of this gameplay that's what I'm gonna do with all my long gameplays from now on because I don't see why you'd want to watch a gameplay like over eight minutes because it's just a little bit on the long side and I'm sure you guys have better stuff to be doing. But if you want to watch the gameplay, the option's there and there'll be music over it. It's pretty nice gameplay actually. I use a beam rifle for a large part of this game. Uh, for some reason, I cannot explain why, my beam rifle skills have been slacking a lot recently. And I think it's because I've been practicing with the regular sniper so often that when I pick up the beam rifle, I try and overthink it and I don't really know what to do. Whereas beam rifle is kind of something you just want to swing the freaking reticule in their direction and just hope for the best. Whereas beam rifle, I'm sat there like tryharding, aiming down the scope and just trying to pull off the perfect kill. And I don't necessarily think that's the way to go with a beam rifle you kind of want to be natural and you it's just getting in the rhythm of things i suppose with a beam rifle rather than uh, actually trying to maintain some you know 100 percent precision slash accuracy i don't know that's just my opinion on the matter but either way i freaking suck so try and forgive that it gets better towards the end of the game I can assure you guys. But yeah, I get the unfriggin' believable. Uh, and then right on the 41 kill mark, I get killed by a turret. And it's pretty darn depressing. Uh, because this could have been a really nice streak. But beggars can't be choosers, so I'm not going to complain. It's still an unfriggin' believable, so there we go. Um, I just wanted to fill you in on what games that I'm playing at the moment other than Halo 4. Um, I've started thinking that, you know, I don't want to play Halo 4 too often because it's something that can just get a little bit draining after a while once you become too familiar with any multiplayer game. And Halo 4 is a game that I can play longer than any other multiplayer game I've ever had. Even Call of Duties. Like, Call of Duties I used to get obsessed with, the older ones, like the Modern Warfare 2s and the Black Ops 1. Um... Those were games I could just play on hours and hours on end for some reason. And half the time I'd just be raging anyway, but I could still get so much time out of it. But Halo 4, I pretty much never rage. And I still get, like, just enjoyment out of it for hours and hours on end. But I want to be able to extend that enjoyment. And I want to make sure that I don't get to a point where it doesn't become as enjoyable as it is now. So I'm kind of just... Uh, switching over to different games, more on the casual side of things, I suppose. Uh, and these two games are Rayman Legends, which I would advise to anyone. It's a freaking amazing game. Uh, I actually bought the first Rayman. It was called Rayman Origins, um, which was for the Xbox 360. When I say the first uh, Rayman, I mean the first one for this generation of consoles. Obviously, there are a lot of previous Raymans to this. Uh, I never really played them that much. I would play them as a kid, uh, the really, really old Raymans, and they were really fun, don't get me wrong. When I saw Origins, I thought, oh, is this just a little bit too different from the previous games, but when you play it, it's it's just amazing to play. It's one of the best platformer games I've ever played. Honest to God, it is. It has a really good sense of difficulty, and it ups the difficulty when it should, rather than, you know, starting off super difficult, and it doesn't... It, it does a very good job of teaching you the basics of the game, and then throwing you out of the frying pan into the fire, but it does it in a way that isn't too torturous, if you understand my drift, if you catch my drift. Um... You know, the Mario games, as of recently, the Mario platformer games, I don't know if you played New Super Mario Bros. Wii, stuff like that. Those games are not my scene. I don't think they're very good in terms of level design and charm. I don't think they captured the essence of what the Mario games used to be. The actual 3D adventure games like Super Mario Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy 2, they nail it. They do really well. I'm not complaining about them. But in terms of uh, Super Mario Bros, New Super Mario Bros, and um, I believe there's like a... New Super Mario World or something like that. Those games, I don't know why, but they just feel a little bit tedious to me. And uh, they feel like all the charm and the energy has been sucked out of it. Whereas Rayman is a game which just... 
it's it's childlike and it's it doesn't take itself seriously in any way and as a result it's just it's so good to go from a game like Halo where it's like you know intense you're constantly tryharding going for the gameplays etc etc and then go to a game like Rayman where you're just running through a jungle and trying to finish the game as quick as you can it's ridiculously fun um, the other game that I'm playing is Diablo 3 which just launched on consoles recently this game is freaking amazing I was very very surprised by Diablo 3 on consoles on PC I wasn't the biggest fan um, and I'm kind of debating the idea of doing a little review series where I do mini reviews of these kind of games I just can't think of a title for it I'm the worst person at coming up with titles for these kind of series ever I literally fail because I want to come up with something that's like majors meh and something beginning with M but I'm awful I don't know any words beginning with M apparently and I sit there on the dictionary.com looking up words beginning with M and I'm like maybe it could be majors molecules maybe it could be majors magic man and I'm just like no those names are all freaking awful um but, you know, I do kind of want to go into Diablo 3 because it's an interesting game for me. Diablo 2 was actually one of my favorite games of all time. The atmosphere in that game and just, oh my god, that game was freaking awesome. And Diablo 3 on PC, uh, it kind of sucked out a lot of the energy there. The gameplay was still really good and really enjoyable. Everything feels like it's got a lot of weight to it. But something about the charm and atmosphere had gone. But once I'd gotten over that and now that I'm on the Xbox version... It's just an amazing game. I just really cannot overemphasize how much fun I've had with it. The problem with uh, games on their 360 right now, I find in this current generation, and it kind of looks like we're going into that with the Xbox One as well, is that they seem to be marketing these games towards, you know, the hardcore gamer. There's a lot of FPS going on around, and there's a lot of, you know, we've got to meet our target audiences and make the most epic games ever, etc, etc. But I feel like they've lost a lot of the charm of older years and a lot of the disregard for target audiences and stuff like that. You know, back when you were on the SNES, you had these kind of insane developers creating weird and wacky ideas, and they didn't really hold back in that respect. They just made the games that came out of their imagination. Whereas now I feel like there's a lot more constraints and there's a lot more pressure to sell your games uh, to the right audiences and stuff. And as a result, I feel like we've lost a lot of the zany and the uh, the randomness from platformers of old. And Diablo 3, it's odd for me to say this, but it's just one of these games that really captures that couch co-op essence, that essence of just, you know, playing with your friend and losing track of the time and just having a whale of a time with it. Um, and I can't recommend those types of games more. I used to be a huge Left 4 Dead fan because that was just one of those games that just... It was just crazy. It was just running through a level, going absolutely mental, zombies chasing you from every single direction. And I'm really looking forward to Left 4 Dead 3. They're actually uh, going to be announcing that pretty darn soon. Anyway, this commentary went on longer than I thought it would. I hope you guys understood what I was saying, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Thank you very much for watching. Peace out.